What's up, YouTube? This is Bystander X Ray 9. Guys, today I'm coming to you with my latest speed duel deck profile from May 2019. And today, as you can see, we're going to be doing Palmization. Alright, this deck is one of the best fusion based decks you could be running. I can tell you right now, I'm loving the fact that Palmization, the skill card, and what it does for this deck is just so great. Alright? So without further ado, we're going to get right into this deck. We're going to talk about the skill card first. Palmization basically allows you to utilize any normal monster in your hand or on the field as a fusion substitute monster as long as the other monster in the fusion is correct. So huge. Just being able to turn any, van any vanilla normal into a fusion su substitute monster is just awesome. Alright? Now, the downside is this skill can only be used once per duel. I know, I kind of would have liked it once per turn. I think it would have at least made this deck a bit more better and be able to get through fusion plays a little bit more consistently. But Kanami doesn't want to break the game, so they this one spread it all. Alright. For the big monsters, one copy of Red Ice Black Dragon, 2400 attack points to the face, can give a lot of problems to your opponent. Meteor Black Dragon, also another awesome card. Great for defense, if you if necessary. Um, only run one copy of each of the uh, high-level ones, primarily because you don't want to be drawing into too many of them. I know their vanillas and palmization can actually work in your favor in that matter, but you don't want to be clogging your hands and not be able to get your normal summon for the turn as well. All right, two copies of Baby Dragon. Vanilla Dragon, so yeah, we have four Vanilla Dragons in here, so the primary reason why I'm focusing on these is basically to turn around and help improve consistency with the Effect Monster in this deck. And last but not least, Alligator Sword. Great uh, level 4 monster with 1500 attack, can swing pretty easily, so great card to have. And then last but not least, we have the three copies of Blue Dragon Summoner. Whenever this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you're getting the Searcher deck for a normal type. Dragon Monster. Alright? Comboing this off with the three copies of Wonder One. Yeah, you're going to be getting a lot of consistency out of this deck. Searching out for your Vanillas and drawing into your other pieces to help you build your field. It's one of the best consistency engines in this game. Alright. For your Fusions, two copies of Polymerization. Pretty standard. And I also won two copies of Fusion Gate. Um, my initial thoughts for Fusion Gate was to utilize it as a kind of a counter to Buster Blader, basically because it does gain attack points equal to the number of dragons on the field in the graveyard. So taking away the dragons in the graveyard can power it down a little bit. Um, later this month, we're going to be getting Fusion Recovery and Attack from the Deep. So I'm probably going to be swapping this card out for that just to crank out some more Fusion plays in one turn. All right. Two copies of Michizuri. Card, well, no, monster sent from the field to the graveyard, you can turn it on and pop another monster on the field. Great control based card. And to help protect your board, Windstorm of Etoka basically turns all monsters on your opponent's field into the other battle position so you can get gain access to their weaker stats or at least access to their life points. Alright. Extra deck, two copies of Meteor Black Dragon, 3500 attack points, great body. I think the only other fusion monster that can probably beat this is probably the Blue Eyes Ultimate. And then, last but not least, for those mono attribute decks like Amazonas and the upcoming uh, Mako decks, you have Alligator Sword Dragon. This card on the field can at least swing into your opponent's life points. And hitting their life points with 1700 can really hurt. Alright. Guys, that is it for my Palmazine deck profile for May 2019, guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like, like this on my channel, make sure to subscribe, enable notifications, so don't miss a single upload. Guys, I am running a Create a Mac contest. The link to that video will be up in the end screens. Uh, click on the video if you want to enter it. Follow the instructions in the description box. Entries will be closing on... Friday, May 31st, so I hope to see a whole lot of people's work. Um, also, 
guys. Check out the description box below. Find my links to my Discord. Join the conversation. We'll love to have you. Um, also find the link to my Patreon. If you want to turn on, see my channel grow even further and take it to the next level, please consider backing me on Patreon. The link's going to be in the description box, like I said. Um, and also, guys, just a heads up, my Patreons will be voting for the winner of my Creative Mat contest. So, guys, join up below and hopefully we can get a, a very good winner for the Creative Mat contest. Alright? Until next time, guys. Peace.